monomers and polymers. So monomers are small molecules and polymers are long chain molecules made of repeated units. So if you react lots of monomers together, you get a polymer. There are different types of polymers. So if we start with an alkene, such as ethene, and we polymerize it, we make it into a polymer. The thing that we get is called polyethene. And you'll notice that this part here is like a snapshot. It's a zoomed in part of the polymer. So there were square brackets to show the polymer goes on, where lots and lots of carbon atoms in the chain, and there's letter N to show that it goes on for a long way. There are also condensation polymers. So if you react a dicarboxylic acid in green, it's a dicarboxylic acid because it's got two, one, two carboxylic acid groups in, and a diol, so it's a diol because it's got one, two alcohol groups in, and the product you get is a polyester, and you also get water made. If you react a dicarboxylic acid and a diamine, this molecule here is a diamine because it contains one, two amine groups, then the polymer that you get from a dicarboxylic acid and diamine is called a polyamide, and you also get molecules of water made. So addition polymers are polymers that are made from only one type of monomer, and the monomer is always an alkene. For example, if we take ethene, and we turn ethene into polyethene, what happens is the ethene units line up and the bonds form between the carbon atoms. So here we show two repeat units. So the two repeat units mean, what would you see if you zoomed in on a part of the polymer, but you only look at two repeat units, two monomers that are linked together. Now in real life, this chain goes on for millions and millions and millions of carbon atoms, but we don't want to show that. So what we do is we zoom in on two repeat units. So the two repeat units means that this is from one molecule of ethene and this part here is from another molecule of ethene. So this molecule is called styrene. It's also called phenylethene and it's an alkene too. And we're asked to show three repeat units. So we're going to have one molecule of phenylethene here, another molecule of phenylethene here and another molecule of phenylethene here. So if we draw polystyrene showing three repeat units, we have one repeat unit, a second repeat unit, and a third repeat unit. And again, this goes on for thousands, hundreds of thousands, perhaps millions of carbon atoms. But because the question, or this bit here, says show three repeat units, we only show what we see if we zoom in and look at three separate monomers stuck together. Condensation polymers are made from two different monomers. So if you react a dicarboxylic acid and a diol, you end up with a polyester. And if you react a dicarboxylic acid and a diamine, you get a polyamide. Condensation reactions also always make a small molecule. So if you have a dicarboxylic acid and a diol, and a dicarboxylic acid and a diamine, you will always get 2N minus 1 moles of water. So if we have n moles of a dicarboxylic acid and n moles of a diol, then we'll end up with 2n minus 1 moles of water. Because a carboxylic acid and an alcohol react to form an ester, this thing here is a polyester, and we can tell that because it's got the ester linkage, this part here in it. So what happens is you lose water from OH there and that hydrogen. And that OH and that hydrogen react to form the water. And that's how you get the dicarboxylic acid and the diol reacting together to make the polyester. Similarly, if we use a dicarboxylic acid and a diamine, remember a carboxylic acid and an amine make an amide. The product that we get is a polyamide and also 2n minus 1 moles of water. And we know it's an amide because it's got this amide link here. So what happens is we lose the molecules, the elements that make water. So we lose 
this OH and one of those hydrogens and that forms this link here. So how to work out what monomers make up condensation polymers? So here is a condensation polymer. We know it's not an addition polymer because addition polymers are only made from one monomer and addition polymers only have carbon in that chain there. This has got oxygen. So because it's got oxygen, it's a condensation polymer. So what we do is we look and we say, well, this group here, the C double bond O bond O, is an ester. So this is a polyester. And how do we make an ester? Well, you get an ester from a carboxylic acid and from an alcohol. And because it's a polyester, the thing we start with must be a dicarboxylic acid and a diol. So the dicarboxylic acid, which makes this part, the way that you get it is you, you put an OH from that carbon, this one here like that, because to make an ester you lose water. And then on this end, there must have been an OH, so we put that there. And then to work out the diol, which is the one in yellow, you put a hydrogen there and a hydrogen there, a hydrogen there and a hydrogen there. So imagine pulling that part of the molecule away from that part of the molecule, putting an OH there, an OH there, and then a hydrogen on that part and a hydrogen on that part. This polymer here contains an amide group, so it's a polyamide. And to get a polyamide, we start with a dicarboxylic acid and a diamine. So again, you can imagine putting an OH there, an OH there, an OH there, and an OH there. Then adding a hydrogen onto that nitrogen, so it becomes an NH2, and a hydrogen onto that nitrogen, so that becomes an NH2. Sometimes the carboxylic acid you want to use isn't reactive enough. So condensation polymers can also be made from diacyl chlorides and diols and diamines, remembering that an acid or an acyl chloride reacts exactly the same as a carboxylic acid, but it's just more reactive. So if we take this diacyl chloride, so it's a diacyl chloride because it's got two acid chloride groups in. And this diol, this will react with a diol to make a polyester because an acid chloride and an alcohol react to form an ester. So the first product that we get is because it's a condensation reaction, we use a small molecule. And in this case, the small molecule is HCl. So the first thing we make is 2n minus 1 moles of HCl. And the polyester that we get is this one here. It's a polyester because it's a polymer and it contains the ester linkage, this part here. 